Well, this, uh, the glue on this is long, come off, it's starting to get tore up here. Alright guys, I got it pretty much clean, so I'm just going to take off this sticky part. A um, couple more things to do for the boat before we're ready for next season, so let's hop into that. Today got a pretty exciting episode for you today. Sorry about the, uh, I'm only bringing one camera. I was not gonna make a video today, but I figured you guys might wanna know about the new crab pot that I have and how it performs out here on the water. So anyways, I figured I would go ahead and show you guys what I got. So this is um, like a regular standard crab pot. Um, it's got four doors. I did weight them down with a little bit of uh, lead. And this is a 24 inch in diameter. This one's from Willapa Marine. And this is just like your standard round crab pot. And I know this is gonna fish pretty well. Um, and I don't really like those collapsible square pots. Um, they just, I don't know, they're just, they're just not very robust. And they, they catch crab fine, but other than that, um, like handling them, storing them, transporting them can get a little weird um but this one i just went with the non-collapsible kind so i've got a lot of faith in this trap and it should catch a ton of crab but let me also show you these round crab pots now these uh these have little springs on them that one just popped off um there's another one here and there's one more back here and oh this is stuck here all right, cool, so they pop up and they look like this. Now, I did weight these down. I bent this piece of rebar into a circle and then I zip tied it and then I also took a lawn strip and zip tied it here because these are made out of uh, this mesh instead of like metal caging. Uh, they're a little bit lighter and I am worried about losing them. But um, I don't know how they're gonna perform because there's only two entrances. Hopefully you guys can see there and they're not huge. They're kind of small. And I think this may work better as like a like a blue crab net or a rock crab net. Um, but we're gonna take it out there and we're gonna see how they perform. These are the, I think they're Kufa brand collapsible, like round collapsible nets. If they work well, I'll put a link for them in the description on Amazon. Um, you can get two of them. I've got two of them. You can get two of them for like 120, 130-ish. Um, and that comes with a buoy and a hundred foot leaded line but you still need to get an additional buoy for the new regulations. You need an additional three by five inch red buoy. And then um, for this other round pot, that one was about $120 just for one pot. So it's about twice as expensive and we're gonna see if it catches twice as many crab. All right guys, we're here at the first stop. Um, for my buoy, I've just attached it with this quick link. It's one of these like uh, like chain links that's got like can unscrew and stuff. And then for bait in the first one, we're just gonna do a hanging bait. Um, this is just an old rock fish that I never got around to eating. I think maybe my roommate actually caught it and then he moved out. Uh, so stuff he left behind turned into bait. All right, let's get this guy in the water. Whew. All right, guys, second one going in. It's starting to get a little windy. I was actually gonna go out further. I drove out to drop crab pots further from the harbor, but then uh, it was it was way choppier out there than it is in here. So I just decided we'll play it close to home this weekend. All right, guys, we're here dropping the last pot. One thing about this pot, so this is from uh, Willapa Marine. I don't know if I said that. They're up in, I think, Washington, but if you order in California, they basically do two-day shipping. I ordered on Friday, they shipped out Monday, and I got it on Wednesday. So if you need good quality crab pots, so far I'm pretty impressed with the build quality on this guy. Um, 
and as you can see I've got it baited up with just some old fillets and you can see my rebar in there and I've actually weighted down these uh, uh, like the the cages like I was telling you the um, the doors and another thing about this one that's much nicer is it comes with five sixteenth inch uh, leaded line instead of quarter inch leaded line I didn't think it was gonna make that big of a difference but when I compare this stuff to the other stuff oh man this stuff's so much nicer these quick links are super easy you just twist them on and this is made of 316 stainless uh, steel and that is pretty much marine grade I believe that's what they make anchor chain out of so if anchor chain doesn't rust that much then I think this will be just fine of course it'll take a few seasons for me to know that anyways this pot's really nice and uh, I've got high expectations for it so Let's toss it over and um, we'll see we'll see how we end up doing All right guys we're coming up here on the first one. It's been about an hour I think so We're gonna pull the first one and see how that looks kind of got the deck cleared away here All right guys, here's the first pull um, in these flexible pots as you can see kind of what happened um, Kind of what I thought would happen happened so there, we only got two rock crab in here. I think it's because this opening's a little small for dungies. Boat hook's working good so far. So uh, this is the second pot. This one I put uh, painting bait, and I also put in a um, like one of those Promar bait cages in it. So maybe this one one will do a little bit better. All right, guys, look at that. Same exact deal some rock crab um, and that's it all right guys here's the money pot this is the best pot and I think it's gonna perform the best uh-oh nothing in this pot well I'm not gonna drop it back down here if it didn't get any crab in it so uh, let's take the two that we have on board and reposition them all right guys there's my boat and here's a poor marooned sailboat. I feel so bad for it. Looks like the anchor drug maybe during the tsunami and it washed the shore here and it's kind of stuck. It really needed a, uh, a bottom scrubbing and painting. So maybe, uh, maybe if it's undamaged, they can uh, just scrape off all these muscles and get it back on land and repaint it and kind of use this as an opportunity to fix it up a little bit, but Man, there sure is a lot of stuff on this boat. This is a cool boat. It's really sad to see it wash the shore like this. Oh, there's a really nice commercial style crab pot there. Might just be adding that to the collection. Just thought I'd show you guys that while I'm waiting for my crab pots to soak. I think I'm gonna go uh, get some lunch or something. All right, guys, sun's starting to set. It's like four, what time is it? 450 so it's getting pretty late it's time to make the pulls on these guys for tonight and hopefully get some crab in them all right it looks like this can catch dungeness y'all see that hopefully you guys can see that there two dungies might even keep hard to tell oh yeah this one's jumbo size Surprised this guy made it in. That's huge. Look at that, guys. See if I can measure for y'all. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's about a six inch of crab right there. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful purple on them. Perfect. All right, well, don't really have a place to put them right now, so we'll just toss them in the back there. Let's measure this other guy. Also a male. Ooh, he's close. He's close to keeping. Oh, uh, no, about a quarter inch shy, this one. But that ain't too bad. In this pot, just rock crab, unfortunately. The easiest way to empty this trap is just to flip it upside down. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Can you see this? Look at this. Probably three keeper dungies in here. 
Oh, here's a small rock crab that escaped. Toss him back. All right, let's measure these guys out. This one is almost six and a quarter. Almost, but definitely a good keeper. Just stick him in this bucket for now. This one, also a keeper, about six inches. Ouch, ouch, ouch. This thing just stabbed me in the leg. Another six inch crab right there. Oh man, and another. Ooh, six and a quarter. This one's six and a quarter. And then a couple good sized rock crab as well. This is a good quality pot. I'll probably order another one of these. Sun's starting to drop, so we'll also drop these pots down. All right. All right, guys, out here day two, ready to rock and roll. We got some crew on board. Oh, look at, we got a ton of rock crab in this pot. Um, wow, okay, that's more than expected. Again, these smaller pots, they seem to be catching rock crab really well, not so much dungies. So I guess take it for what it is. Um, I will probably keep some of these bigger ones and then let some of the smaller ones go just to have a variety today. But uh, that's number one. I think we'll probably end up moving this a little bit further out just because there's a lot of other buoys out here, but there's pole number one. Second one, also pretty weak, all rock crab. Here's a good one right here. That's the claws will take your fingers off, but the other three will just let go. Darn, darn, darn. All right, guys, we're about to pull the uh, the good pot, the money pot. I think I'm going to nickname it. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed for some dungeon this crab. Oh, my God. Oh, it's packed. Don't, uh, yeah, just, yeah, just get it up here oh. somehow. Oh, oh, careful, careful, two. careful, careful. Sheesh. All right. Like one, two, maybe. There are two keeper dungies, but some good rock crab. This guy's huge for a rock Yeah, crab. some good ones. Definitely better than the other two. So uh, you can see how much bait we have left here. We're gonna pack it full of chicken and we'll toss it back in, but let's get these out. This is a nice dungie right here. Oh my God. Look at that. It's a Costco dungee right yeah, there. It's a, it's a Costco <laughs> dungee. <laughs> this is a good one. All right, let's measure them out. And uh, there we go. These two look like keepers. Just gonna double check. I get new camera. Um, let's check it out. Oh yeah, that's a six inch crab right there. Maybe six and a quarter almost. Good shit. Definitely a keeper. Other guys right there. This guy's only got one claw, but he's got, he's big. He's, he's got some weight to him for sure. This is, um, a six and a quarter, just about six and a quarter there. Nice. So two good keeper dungies. It looks like a couple rock crab that are probably worth keeping. Like this guy here is probably worth keeping. We'll toss him on the bottom. Um, you see any others with like massive claws? This one's got pretty good claws. This guy, this oh, guy, this maybe. one's got huge claws. All right, guys, we got the big dungie here. We're going to go ahead and cook them up. We got a little pot with some water. We're going to steam them in there. We're just going to put them out of his misery and uh, break them in half, stick them in the pot. All right, guys, we got the crab here. I just broke them down in half, cleaned them out. Water's almost done boiling. We're gonna stick them in there like 10, 12 minutes or so. Just let them steam. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna let some water heat up here, but we're just gonna sit back, relax, and eat this crab up. There you go. Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, it's salty. <laughs> Cooking it in that salt water makes a big difference. Ooh, I need to salt my water more at home. Um, all right, guys, we got uh, kind of a mix of small dungies and rock crab. We pulled the other collapsible one already, just rock crab, so we let them go. Um, but overall, the chickens seem to work okay. It's just that uh, that these pots don't catch a very big crab because the gates are too small, I think. So maybe I'll modify them, but that's the review for right now on how these pots work. Oh, darn, dude. All these rock crabs. 